I'm going to tell you a story of how I once, by accident, did a quantum jump. I jumped into another reality <laughs> by accident. I wasn't even trying to do it. <laughs> so the story goes like this. It's about three years ago. It's towards the end of the pandemic. And the setting is the Vehicle License Renewal Department in Fishhook, Cape Town, here. And at that stage, they were still very understaffed. And we all had to wear masks, and everyone was feeling very irritated. <laughs> now, this department is very notorious for the long queues one always had to stand in. But on this occasion, it was even longer than ever because of the understaffed situation. And we were sitting on plastic chairs, like way out the door. And it is one of the most unattractive environments. It's not like super clean. The, the signs are falling off the walls. Everything is sort of old and dilapidated. And everyone sitting in the queue is highly irritated. We have to wait this long, then we still have to pay. And just a grim, grim situation. And what also happens is everyone is complaining and talking to each other about, oh, this bad system and blah, 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 blah. Just making it worse. It's like <sighs> cooking up the disgruntledness. Okay, so now I'm sitting there outside the building in the queue on a plastic chair and I close my eyes. And I think, okay, I'm just going to go inwards and I'm going to play a little game. So I play this little game with myself. I imagine there's an army of ants running around inside my skin, like an army of ants inside my skin. And I call them my pleasure ants. And I close my eyes and I do this fun little meditation, my own private little pleasure thing, where I just run these pleasure ants on the inside of my skin, like ooh, all over all over my body, all the way to the tips of my toes, up the back of my legs, up the back of my spine, around my buttocks, down my arms, all the way to my fingertips. I'm just having a good time with my little pleasure ants, feeling my body. And I do this for about five minutes, five or ten minutes. And when I opened my eyes, I was sitting in heaven. The space between everything was perfect. There was this beam of golden sunshine with a perfect edge. Oh, just illuminating the air wherever it travels and then touching the ground, emitting its warmth. And there was a cool breeze, like whoo, darting around us, playing. And there was this plant and the leaves, beautiful green, moving and shining and moving in the wind in the most beautiful, graceful way. And then there was this little bird, Fluffing its little feathers, like <laughs> having a good time, singing, jumping around on the branches. And it was the perfect moment, and actually nothing had changed. But I had moved into a different dimension of perceiving where I'm not looking at everything with my pre constructed ideas of how it should be, but simply present, and everything was so perfect, 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 exactly as it is. 
And then I looked at the other people that were in the queue, and they were still in that reality. I, I could see them. I know that reality, that disgruntledness. <laughs> but I was here. It was like I was standing on the one foot and then suddenly just standing on another. Just my vantage point just changed. And oh, that was such a beautiful, magic moment. And now that was like a pinprick. Now I sometimes practice to do this, but I never do it with expectation. It's just like, oh, just meditate, just feel, just be present in the moment. It's okay. And sometimes it really works. And sometimes it's harder. I think the key message is um, to be still and to be present with what is. It's okay. You are here. And on another level, I see it as us bringing heaven to earth through our experience. Seeing the heaven on earth. Bringing heaven to earth in us. In our presence of being. Whew. Thank you so much for listening. You are welcome to ask me questions. I will answer them if I can. Thank you.